What is up guys, gals, and all others? We're doing Blue vs. Monokuma, a rap battle by Eddie's Rap Channel. So, we'll not be doing any more full-on reactions to Eddie's Rap Battles. However, we will be doing reviews. These reviews will consist of me doing heavy breakdowns on the videos. I've seen it first, I've analyzed it from the video, to the sounds, to the lyrics. I know just about everything. I, I may miss one thing here or there, but uh, it probably won't be anything missed. And I plan on doing this for more rap battles. Rap battles I've done in the past and certain rap battles in the future. I'm going to be tweaking it as we go. And this is going to be kind of similar to one of my reactions formatted. I may change it up deciding. I want to know what you guys think about it. Uh, let me know how you guys think about this and if I should do more like this to begin with. Okay, let's get into it. So I will be Animation playing it through, not entirely, and talking about things. Blue. Already, I this I love the animation style. Okay, okay, okay. Chiaki, okay, chopping it up. How she died. I was gonna put a picture of that on screen, but I'm like, that's probably not a good idea. But one thing I did like is how it starts off with it. It starts off with the text, the Monokuma text, which is kind of, or just like the text box from the games. And then reoccurring throughout the battle, you'll see a lot of backgrounds from the games. Uh, along with, you know, the animation style of Richie when it comes to blues. But all of the backgrounds from it are taken from the game, are certain scenes within it. And one thing I did, like, the mono e mono kuma mono kuma Okay, I see, we all see what you did there. We get that. But I really like this line. Blue, I'll broadcast your execution to the tots at Nick Jr. But I don't know if you can see right there, a little bit right here, there's these other little monokumas in the uh in the background and those are the cubs and i uh, just to give you a little example as you can see the little ears are different you have the the green one right here or you have the green one on the right with the uh the special ears and then you can see all uh, all five of them well there's six of them uh laid out right here and they're all in the background they're the monokuma cubs but the tots and nick jr the broadcasting do you see what the, it's a double with the animations so I see what you did there. Okay, I see what you did there. And this flow is crazy. So chopping up like Chiaki. Of course, we're talking about how she died. But we're chopping it up. The flow is chopped up and it sounds nice. And we have another background from the uh, the background from the game. I, that background, if I remember correctly, it's like a, it's like a, a snake, lion horse with a man on top and an eagle it's like this crazy ass statue so yeah we're chopping it up so this is whole this whole scheme is crazy right here and uh and what's crazy is when it comes to the kids because this line goes even further i broadcast your execution they'll be watching you and it will have taught them not to mess with dang and rampa so not only will it, uh it'll teach the kids these like more dark themes which will come later on in the battle because this this concept carries on but it's also teaching lesson to his kids hey don't like what, what's going on because monokuma scares the cubs so i see what you did there okay then we got the despair scheme Okay, we see what you did there. The despair scheme. Okay, we, we just clean it up. Of course, Monokuma, big, big, big homie of despair. But we get what you're doing there. And I did like the black and white keeping in touch with the color. At first, I thought it was Cartoon Network related. But I'm like, what the fuck? None of these shows have anything to do with it. But I did like... I, I was confused at the beginning on why these had a matchup. But when this line was said and when I looked at it more, I'm the headmaster, this teacher's pet you know, Steve teaches pet, but they're both kind of teachers in a way. Blue teaches kid, headmaster Monokuma teaches kids. Uh, so I, I like that. I, I did like that there. And I did like the despair. But overall, what I really like about this verse, it, uh, and I know it's not over, is the flow. The flow is crazy in this. And the beat is really clean. This is a really nice beat. Like, not even just for a rap battle in general. Very, very nice on the ears. 
And this flow is crazy. Snakebite went crazy on the flow. And I like the couples battle within it. If you know, you know, you know, you know. It'll, it'll make an appearance later. Hey. Hey, and I got this body on the track. I got a discover, discovering a body. And then I do like the camera room in the back. I think I have the camera room. As you can see, you can see a little bit in the back from it. A little bit. You see a little bit from it. I'm, a, I, I'm not going to have as many images and stuff this time. But I plan on the more we do breakdowns, more examples. Because I know a lot of people may not know about Danganronpa or a lot of these battles that way i can provide provide examples and you guys can get more and we can visualize it more together so i'll be doing it more this is going to be a more of a laid back review kind of a transition review to get you guys like weenie off the straight like only reactions i will be doing reactions other things as well but uh like trying to give a mix and see what you guys feel about it. so yeah i'd really appreciate y'all's feedback Hey. Okay, so we see what we're going here. Uh, this we're playing off the kids theme even more. Uh, you know, saying that you're tailored towards kids. You keep doing this fetch questing in each episode because all that you do, Steve is doing, is looking for clues, and then you teach them this concept. They already know because they, although, you know, the, the theme within the show, yeah, the, there are some simple like problem solving, but there's all there's always some overall themes like, oh, I'm going to teach the kid patterns, shapes. We're going to learn about planets today. You know, all this shit or they might not know about planets, but like things like we already know. Uh, so I, I see what you're doing there, but they're sink their teeth. Okay. Okay, in the background, we get you. Sink into their show with more meat on the bone. We all know the meat in the bone meme. It came on. It's a meme that, a dang and rampa meme that's been known quite a bit now. And uh, there's like a lot of. Getting images for dang and rampa, some weird things pop up, I will say. Uh, Especially, you know, when I'm, never mind, never mind, I'm not getting into it, but there's some crazy shit that pops up when I was doing research for this, but, uh, so the whole meme there, the show with more meat on the bone, eh, is there more meat on the bone? That's, I'll leave that up to you, Danganronpa fans, I hate Skylar, one on one. Hey. Okay, now that is a clean line. That is a layered line. Very clean. So so I got the strap aim AK at pre-K and end you. I like that, uh, which which is funny because in hindsight, you're aiming at kids. Uh, but, you know, aiming at a pre-K show, but you, you're talking about how your show is a lot more like... Uh, adultish per se even though it's not i aim at kids so basically kind of admitting the target audience is kid but not really but i did like that if you think about it in that way but put the lens to your eyes now you look like magenta that was clean i like that okay so that's layered very deep within it because one you know AK at the eyes, the lens, I'm looking at you. Now you look like magenta, magenta, the other blue, as well as uh, looking at it through a lens. Like this is just hella layer, hella layered within it. Or, and you could take it even further, the magenta pink, you know, or when you say someone's looking red, you'd say, you know, I, I bloodied you up, I shot you. But looking like magenta, the, the blood within... Uh, Dang and Rampa is like magenta pinkish. So now eBay Slay, I killed you. I killed you. And I do like how it looks like what Monokuma holding the strap. And the verse one right here, along with we keep with the same text or different text from different games. I like what we're doing here. Get everything you got, punishment time. I see what we're doing there. Getting super excited about it, but uh, taking lines from the uh, the game. So I, I like what we did here. Honestly, Monokuma, solid verse. Solid verse. The editing was good. 
punishment time, the, the, the editing right there was nice. Like, all of it was clean. All of it was clean. Very solid verse for a first line coming in. Uh, and the editing for that verse is crazy. The beat, I really like the beat throughout this battle. And it had kind of a, a wonky street feel to it. And uh, the, the bars within it was clean. I saw uh, Eddie Chandler and his inner uh, Shofu bars right here with the, the shooting bars, which is funny uh, when you're talking about like Blue's Clues and shit like that. But yeah, ov overall, an insane verse. And you'll see when it comes to this battle, I have very high praise for it. This is uh, uh, probably one of my favorite Eddie battles for sure to come out. I think it's on top out of the ones I reviewed or done a reaction to so far. And it's ranked it's 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 ranked pretty highly on the rap battles I've seen in general. Uh cuz this this project comes together so clean and I'm very impressed by it. Okay, let's go on the blues. Hey. Hey. Okay, Jesse coming in. Okay, with their first ever rap battle appearance, kind of, or their first solo appearance, because I believe they've done a couple of things. Uh, like, I think they were on the choir for the Morbius uh, Dracula, or not, uh, yeah, Dracula battle. Um, but, okay, we got, Ed, all right, off-rip Eddie Jr. logo at the bottom right, we see. But one thing that's really going to drive these points home and what makes uh, Blues Verse so hard is the like emphasis and expression throughout the battle through Richie's animations. And one thing I want to say before we start is I will have in my pinned comment, uh, pinned down below and in the description, Robot Richie's doing a Kickstarter for a project he's been working on. It's very important to them. Uh, over And it, it really does affect them. So please, if you can contribute some, in some way, do that. I've contributed myself. I think I put in like... Uh, $20, $30 or something like that. And I probably will put in more knowing how I am when it comes to creators. But this was clean. This was clean. Okay, so uh, we flipped it. We took the, the, the child scheme and talking about the audience and we flipped it back. So we talked about it before and we're turning it on them. So we'll go in within that. So mine probably know what an octagon is, which is funny because Monokuma uh, or the the Hope Peak Academy students, there was a whole uh, one of the students didn't know what an octagon was. So like Blue saying, "Hey, I treat I teach like babies or young kids, and even they know what it is because like we said before, one of the things that Blues does is that a lot of shape themes within it. So I did like that. I did like that. Very clean. Very clean. Uh, So, you know, Dang and Rampa fans, all, although the show has a lot of dark themes and uh, and which would be more tailored towards a uh, teenage or adult like audience, it's been picked up a lot by younger, younger teens or children and things like that, which is not something you'd, you'd like to see. And then, you know, you have Monokuma firing shots like the AK pre-K line taking shots at this and saying hey you're for kids uh and we have more depth and things like that but like where is it where is it like i'm actually trying so blues is owning it and that's a big thing within a battle taking a diss and owning it kind of reflects some of it back on you like it makes your diss kind of irrelevant and within a rap battle scene and it, it's a very strong approach when it comes to the battle okay let's go back Hey. 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 Okay. So there's a couple, there's a, or quite a few references in it. One, I do like Richie going crazy, adding a lot of the snake bite ba uh, battles within it. Kind of uh, saying, like, Jess is beating his ass, which is funny. Uh, but one thing I did like, it, and then here's something right here that I have for you. And you may be thinking, what is this uh, 8 bit thing right here? No wonder all of your games end with the same plot twist, which is it, which is cool. This little eight bit theme, because if you have it right here, it's the game over eight bit scene for that. So it shows like Blue killing Monokuma, saying, "Hey, it's game over. It's game over. I got you. I got you in the scope. I got you." So I did like that. Uh, and then 
See, and we keep on with the theme, and Blue really owns this theme of I'm tailored towards kids, you have a kid audience, and I'm going to hone in on it. Because we're talking with the clues within it. So here, let's go back. Hey. Hey. So, so that's what it, so I like that because a lot of hints within Danganronpa, there's a couple things that are up to you to understand. But he's saying, you know, as Blue, someone who it, it teaches the kids, I know what I'm talking about. Since you have the kid audience, when it comes to toddlers, your audience, you got to make it simple so they understand. So just dogging all over the audience, which I like. I like that. Very cool, lean, no clean line. Hey. There's nothing new to do. I couldn't get into your story with the blues could do. Hey. With the food, your students do. Because you're a predator who's preying on the youth in school. Mm. I like, I really did like this line. I like how we have some of the students in the background. Uh, and this, like, it's such an interesting format or uh, style. But, because uh, you're the, okay, so let, let's go further back. Even with the blue skidoo, I couldn't get into your story. Which is funny because blue skidoos use uh, to, you know, get, get into these portraits. Uh, and get into these different times so they can understand things and get things different. So even, you know, even with this this magic, I can't understand what the fuck's going on. So I did like that. I did like that play on right there. Clean, clean. Hey. Predator, prey, preying on the youth because uh, Monokuma likes, the you know, causing other people misery, despair. So preying on the youth of your students. Uh, so I, I did like that. I that very clean, dude. Blue's dogging on him right now. No pun intended. I like the snail keeps popping up. Hey, hey, the ad libs. Man, okay. And here I said this in the, I think in the Freshie Discord when this battle came out. Imagine getting burp burrowed constantly as an ad lib like that's mad disrespectful even though it doesn't mean anything it's mad disrespectful to me you're playing fucking peekaboo with me in my damn face like how dare you ad lib peekaboo burnt burn me every time that's mad disrespectful even though it's literally child shit it's mad disrespectful in my <laughs> mind that's kind of that's kind of kind i got millions watching after school i i did like that i did like that Hey, now I'm blackened dash blue. I like what you did there, blackened, and then look at this, look at this. The animation kind of going crazy. Uh, Richie went crazy this one. Once again, go check out Richie, uh, Richie's uh, Kickstarter. I have a link below. But uh, blackened are the students because are, that are getting or have, are, have murdered someone. So he's saying, you know, I've, I've killed the beat, I've ki or I killed you, I killed you, I've been black, I've been black, and it may even, I may even get away with it. So I did like that. I like what you did there. Okay, blue kind of went crazy. Blue went and kind of get crazy. But I will say, they're still pretty close for me right here. Uh, I do think blue rebuttaled in a very nice uh, theme. I will say, I do like blues, like, visual like package more when it comes to visuals the audio and like all the little things within it well I, I think monokuma had solid lines and the editing you know was just like the game richie's uh richie's uh animations really went crazy here and some of the times the animations along with the delivery like things like this are so creative and interesting where it really helps the delivery in my mind okay but let's get more into it. Hey. Okay, this character screen is actually kind of cool. Not going to lie. This character screen is kind of cool. And then it has them like little anime form. But here's the problem I have with this. Okay, here's the problem from a rap battle sense. Uh, what kind of, this is a, I like the line, it's clean, but listen, what kind of grown adult thinks the salt shaker is sentient? Okay, that's fair, okay, that's fair, but this is not a rap battle about Steve. This is a rap battle to Blue. So to me, it's a cool line, 
but it does not hit blue from a rap battle perspective. And we're not only looking at it from a rap battle perspective, but like in that side, it doesn't make sense to me. It's a it's a good line to have in, but rap battle wise, it doesn't hit for me. I think if Hope's Peak was a college that Steve attended, I would definitely call him the ultimate. The ultimate schizophrenic. So the ultimate in uh the ultimate in Danganronpa is like being the best to ever do it. The best. Or like the, the you know you're the best at it so bang you're like the best schizophrenic or you're like the the craziest one there so I, I I did like that line I did it's goofy as hell and that's one thing I do like Monokuma constantly has this goofy feel although the the game tends to be a little bit more dark Monokuma is a lot more brighter and crazier and you can really feel it on the beat with the delivery the line said. And like with everything going on in the expression. So I, I do like this thing. Although these characters wouldn't match theoretically in my head. Because they're they're both so crazy different. They fit together on this beat so well. And like in this battle. With their vibrant expressions and different feels when it comes to this beat. So I, I really did like this. Hope's peak was a college that Steve attended. I would definitely call him. Oh, and one thing, Steve. It, so, one, Steve, the original, uh, the original uh, person on Blues, left to attend college. So we're we're keep we're keeping that theme into Hope's Peak, uh, a school, of course. College that Steve attended. I would definitely call him the ultimate schizophrenic. And don't you go down playing my game? Are you kidding? Because when I make yelling games, my games make a killing. Hey. I would execute you with burns up to the first degree, but I can't. Okay, you know what's crazy is when he first said this, when or when Monokuma first said this, I thought, oh shit, Steve burned or he killed someone, which is weird because I just saw a video of him not too long ago. I'm like, what the fuck happened within this time? But it took me a little bit. From what I'm gathering at is, but I can't because Monokuma, of course, likes despair, uh, causing people pain. But I can't top the despair like Burns left for his first degree. First degree in college, but how imagine Blue and Steve being best friends when your best friend leaves forever. You know, how imagine how bad that feels. So or you know, so I, I now I get it. Now I get it. That that's where I'm taking it. Maybe I'm wrong in some sense when it comes to that, but that confused me. That definitely confused me at first. Uh, I could see it accidentally taking it the other way. Games, my games make a killing, and I would execute you with burns up to the first degree, but I can't have to spare like when burns up for his first degree. So I could kill you, I like that, I could kill you, but this, this, this feeling you have that burns you, it, you, you know, living th this, this life without him, it, ma it makes me feel so good. It's way better than just offing you. I'd rather see you suffer. So I, I like what we did there. I like what we did there. And but my shirt on accident. Steve Burns. Hey. Hey, and low key though, Jesse may not be a rapper, but they are killing it. They are killing it. Usually when voice actors are new and I hear rap battles with people that aren't like too familiar on a beat, you can definitely tell. You can definitely tell. And I'm going to be real. They are killing it. They are fucking killing it. I, I have not heard any slip up where I felt like things were a little off or their delivery wasn't as good because that's the biggest thing is the delivery and confidence within it. And Blue's Clues doesn't really need to have that much confidence within it or within uh, a rap with them. But like... It, it just sounds clean. It sounds clean. And mad props to, the, to them. And I, you'll probably be watching this. So shout out you, okay? And I do like what we're doing here. So here, I'll go back even further. Hey. Hey. So one thing in the, the creators got, or the creator got, took a lot of shit for is this whole realm that you created, this reality you created, this fake reality you created, uh, where it was turned out to all be fake. Uh, and a lot of the fans didn't like this. They felt like they took the stakes away. They felt like it wasn't as hit impactful now that it was all like fake, where it, was, it wasn't, it was a fake reality within a fake reality. So, uh, so you know, there, that's a lot of people's gripe on it. To me, as someone who isn't like, 
a big fan of it. The, I, the only reason why I know about Danganronpa is for uh, nerdcore and uh, anime ba- or and rap battles. So I'm not the biggest fan of it personally or at all in the slightest. <laughs> uh, but like that's the angle that's being played on here. Think, think, think. And then one thing I like what the transition we've done because one thing Blue did at the beginning, we talked at, like the show started. We started outside. We made our way inside. We we looked. We saw the paw prints. And now when we get our three clues, we sit on the thinking t- the chair and think, think, think to like come figure out the mystery. And that's how they started this. I don't know if you guys caught this. Uh, what secrets lie behind? Or, yeah, let's see. What kind of secrets lie behind uh, Hope's peak? So within this, this is it like second verse or uh, or mini verse? We're we're kind of deciphering all. We're we're finishing the mystery. We're ending the the show. So that's what I did like. I I do like this how they're doing this and how it's formatted. And one thing I did like is Blue is Loki is holding the little the the when the clues come up is holding the clue uh notepad which i did have one of those as a kid and i tore off those springs the or not the spring the coils that hold it all together i was a destructive kid hey hey i just got this letter Wonder who it's from, L. You just got the letter. Wonder who it's from, me, of course. Okay. Overall, an insane battle. One, my favorite Eddie battle to come out so far. Um, and there's a couple I like, I really did like. But one thing I gotta say is if you guys like this style format and you think I should do more heavy reviews, definitely suggest to me battles you want me to do it for, ones I haven't seen, ones I have seen. Yes, you can throw all the ones I've done before in and I'll consider doing it. These take a little bit more time because I do do research on every line uh, and video or picture within it. That way I can try to provide the best feedback I can. And if you guys have any tweaks or something you'd like that maybe help it out or format changes, definitely let me know. I appreciate all. But drop a sub if you're new here and I will see you guys next time.